Um, what do you do day one? All right, so you and what I... What day one? I took the top off. I drove around. I had never had a convertible before. Okay. I had never had a car before. Didn't say it. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> that was yes. close. Yes. I had never actually had a car before. Okay. So, like, well, I had to, like, borrow my parents' car. Sure. But I'd never had my actual own car. The point where, you know, take, I'll take the, the, the roof off. Oh, cool. How, like, having a convertible for the first time versus driving somebody else's car that only has a stationary roof. So, so there is there is something to be said about the freedom of a convertible, the wind in your hair, this, that, whatever. But in addition to, like, the first time I took my top and my doors off, because, like, I'm all or nothing, like, I'm not one of those, like, I'll take my freedom panels off and then keep the doors and the other top on. Or, like, take the top off and then leave the door. Like, I'm all or nothing. Okay. I took my doors off. And, yeah, you know what? Like, people who don't have them, people don't get it. Like, the fact that you can stick your leg just right there on that little hinge where yep. the door is. And you put your foot there and okay. you're driving down the interstate. Were you wearing shoes or not? I'm not a socks and flip flop kind of guy, if that's what you're asking. I've worn flip flops where they're in my car. I have. And the rock flies off of the tire and hits me at the bottom of the foot. 60 miles an hour? G dang? Oh. Is that what you said? Did you oh. say G dang it? I said a lot worse Don't than that. Don't ruin this video. You said, said G dang it. I said a lot worse than that. Okay. Right? So you said G dang it. So but yes. I, uh, I have not had that happen, but like just the foot at the door, the freedom, like people are like, oh my god, look at that guy. Like he's compensating. Yeah. I am. Can't speak for you. But yeah. So what? <laughs> like, I know what I'm working with. Just because I've got what my dad gave me doesn't mean I'm not a good person. I, I'm a great person. I could drive a, a, a truck that's 19 stories high and doesn't mean I'm a bad person. No. You know, we're, 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 we're only talking about, like, you know, the day you got your Jeep. Oh, that's completely when different. When you were on completely naked. So it's actually funny. Um, the, so the day I test drove my Jeep, uh, I went to the Jeep dealership, and a uh, 19-year-old kid was a salesperson. And I had been in sales longer than this kid had been alive. And so I went there, and, you know, like, we were driving the Jeep, and I had one of my friends with me, this kid's sitting in the passenger seat, and he's like, oh, man, I really wish there was a trail for you to go test drive this on because I know that's what you want to do with it. And I'm like, <laughs> funny you said that. I know of one that's a mile down the road. It was the uh, it was a Paraline road, but it was also up a mountain. It was uh, for a radio tower, and Is so that here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, okay. uh, so I bought it from a uh, management uh, Jeep, and um, about a mile and a half down the road, um, there's this Paraline road that goes up to a radio tower, and it's really rocky, and you know you get off camber a little bit, and it's probably like anywhere between a thirty to a forty five degree angle, depending on where you're at. So I was like, I took it there, because it was like, this kid said this, and um, so I'm going up, and he's like, oh man, I really hope you buy this, because we're going to need to wash it, and I'm like, you're getting it really dirty, and I'm like, this kid is never going to say, I wish he could take it on a trail again, while he's on a test drive. Um, I actually went back there like three months later, and he was gone. Oh, um, or, well, you bought it. But, but, but no, 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 this is good. The Jeep. No, yeah, no, I bought it, but, but here's the thing, so, so like, I took it on a test drive. It. Here's the thing, though, is, is, like, I played games with them because I went up this, uh, hill. It wasn't a mountain. It was a hill. And, uh, so we get back to the dealership, and he's like, so you're gonna buy it, right? Like, you, you took it off-roading, like, and it's dirty, and you, you did all this. Like, you're gonna buy it, right? I was like, dude, I was like, I love this Jeep. It's so great. Like, I really, really want it. I don't like the color. Turned around and walked away. And, like, I walked probably, like, 15 feet. I looked back, and this kid's jaw was touching the floor, and he was like six foot two, so his jaw was like way down. And his, he was like, oh. I was like, dude, I'm kidding. I was like, where do I sign? So that was day one. So you bought the Jeep? I took it off roading before I even bought it. All right. So where, I, I, after you own it physically for yourself, what do you what do what what did you want to do for the first time? Did you want to drive me more hills? FBG. Or do you want to just go, like, naked? Well, I just want FBGM. And if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Um, I get it, mother. But. <clears throat> I said mother. Uh, 
No, I, I was I was actually I was so ecstatic that I had it that I, that I just spent all day like in my driveway just looking at it. I was just like, would you just look at it? You didn't think about the first mod. Just look at it. Just look at it. You just go to the first mod. It's nice and shiny. This is the last time I ever saw it shiny. <laughs> but would you just look at it? Just sometimes you just gotta sit back and look at it. I've known you for quite a while, and I know well where. Um, that is the last no, I, uh, truly really clean. But, well, but no, because like I said, you and I have different stories about how we go to Jeeps. Like, I had no idea what I was getting into. Uh, I, I, I thought I was just going to drive it around, and you know, I was like, I might, you know, drive on dirt. Uh, that might be cool. And then, uh, you know, things progressed. But the day I got it, I, I had no idea. Um, you know, it already had the 2-inch Mopar lift, 35-inch tires, and uh, the dual exhaust. <laughs> Um, but no, I, I, I really didn't know what I was getting into. So I didn't think about mods at that point in time, but, uh, I'd already had wheels, tires, lift, um, and lockers. No lights. You know what? But I had lockers. I don't think you even have lights now. I don't. Well. This. Lockers a, before lights. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's, a, that's no, no, another episode. Yes. Uh, <coughs> Number Le something. leading to episode number I don't know, four ducks. Or something. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, episode four ducks. Um, but what what was uh, what was what was day one for you? Well, actually, I, I honestly, I, I mine know, was I know, I know. Wait, wait, was which Jeep are we talking about? Current. Very <coughs> first Jeep or current? Uh, let's go. Let's go first Jeep because I know a current. First Jeep was no. Well, you don't actually. Oh, it was it. My first Jeep was. No, like, I said I know a current. No, my I current Jeep was actually the first day I bought it. Was actually really way more funny than the, the the JK that I had. Because honestly, I just thought, oh, cool, this is a convertible. I can go out in the desert, just drive around the sand, have fun with it. Sure. But my current one, like literally, you put just I as much. No, so I got my it, like, my dad had just months. gotten a brand new lift for his JL. After I got mine, he's like, no, nah, you should drive this around and see what it's like to drive it stock. I was like, F that, Dad. I'll bleep it. <laughs> I'm going to do whatever I want. No, I'm not going to do it. That's and my fine. mom. That's fine. I love my mom for this reason because she knows me. She knows me so well. She's like, honey, he's going to do whatever he wants anyways. Mm -hmm. So just give it to him. Sure as shit, me and Andrew were putting the lift on in my garage later that night, ordering pizza, and just like it's like twelve o'clock. This, is, this is first Jeep. First day, no, no, first Jeep. Oh, this is, oh this no, 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 no. JL. This is JL. Okay, it's JL. Yeah, yeah, JL. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the one that I have now. Yeah, yeah. Unicorn. Okay. The first one was Stormtrooper, and Stormtrooper, nah, it was, it, it did what I needed it to, and but the first day, like, I, nah, I, I was eighteen year old kid. I don't have the money. Right. I was in college. Right. I didn't do. I didn't know how to do shit. Well, I I had a job. Then did gym and stuff, whatever. But. And then you went to the gym. I worked at a gym. Oh. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Okay. Anyways. This was back when goals was a thing. Pew, goals pew. isn't a gym anymore. Pew. Right. Pew. 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 <laughs> I'm straight, but that makes me tickle. <laughs> No, yeah, yeah, the JL story is way more fun than the J, the JK, because the JK was just all about taking the top off. Sure. I'm like, this is awesome. Granted, it was 120 degrees in Arizona when I got it, because it was oh, August, yes. what That's it, August 8th. August 8th is when I got that Jeep. That's rough. And well, people are like, oh, it's a dry heat. Well, guess what? Like, when you turn a hair dryer on high and blow it in your face, that's a dry heat, too. It still sucks. Yeah, dry heat is better than wet heat. You don't sweat as much, but you do in the long run. I don't know. It's all semantics. I don't know. I, heat, I prefer heat the dry heat, heat than the wet heat. Heat is heat. It sucks. Oh, dry I heat, humidity I don't sweat. Thing. I don't sweat like a dry heat. No, no, but humidity is Let's get can. back to freaking Jeeps. Yeah. So right. that one. Yeah. And, uh... So, yeah, so... Sir Your first lift. You are. So, so sir, you sir had a lift. One. You had a lift in yours. Uh, day one that I actually went and did something in the Jeep lifestyle uh, with mine. Um, no idea what I was doing. I went to uh, this company out here and I bought a little tool to um, remove the needle in my valve stem so I could air down my tires. And I had an $80 cigarette lighter compressor that took about 15 minutes to air up each tire. Like, that's what I had. That's what I was working with. It took me... 
four minutes to air down and about 45 minutes to air up. Super cool, super great. Didn't know what I was doing. And uh, I went on a trail and I was by myself and didn't know where I was going, didn't know what I was doing. Um, and you know, I, I was just by myself and it was just, it was, it was a gravel road, really. Um, I didn't really hit anything difficult, but I was going this way and there was about eight Jeeps coming this way. And uh, I stopped, rolled down my window, talked to that guy, he's like, hey, do you know what you're doing? I'm like, nope. He's like, do you wanna follow us? I'm like, yep. And uh, that's how I lost my savings account. Well, they do have a, what's the G acronym? Just, just every, empty every, every pocket. pocket. Yeah. Right. But no, yeah. Uh, it just... All right. After, after, after the lift and we've had all this stuff, like you had, you had your work done in your Jeep. And then I did. I had, you had, had a couple things done to it. Some work done to it. I did. I had a couple things done so, to it when I bought it. Uh, mm -hmm. Too much left, 35 inch tires. What was the first thing that you wanted to change on it? I want to be bigger. I want a bigger lift, bigger wheels, bigger tires. Okay, well, what was the first thing you did to it after, like, not that, like, breaking period, but what was the first thing you said, I need to do actually, this, this the, what happens? Actually, the first modification I made is uh, I put the twin ARB uh, compressor underneath my passenger seat, and I wanted to get a little bit creative with it. So I put the twin ARB air up, uh, for, for airing up, uh, under my passenger seat, had a switch on the passenger seat, but I ran a line all the way to the back to a seven gallon auxiliary tank. And then I had a four way air up um, to help speed up the air up process because I went from an $80 AutoZone compressor that literally I had to stop all the time just because it got so hot. Um, I'm not. It, it was terrible, but um, you know, this, yeah. This explains a lot because I've always wondered why you ran your passenger seat before you turned on your air compressor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, so whenever we go air down, um, whenever I air down, I you always turn on the pump to fill up the auxiliary tank, um, which speeds up the air up process for the four way by about two minutes. So I can actually air up faster than I can air down. So it takes me about. Four minutes to air down and about two minutes to air up. Um, so that was that was the first modification that I actually made. Um, you know, and then I got the bigger lift. I went from a two to a three and a half, and then I got um, adjustable control arms, bigger lift, bigger wheels, bigger tires, all that. So it's, you built you're so much different than me. I did. Cause I put but, a new, I put a new head unit in my first JK. Well, but. So, and then two fifteens in the back. But on your JL that you have now. Oh, the JL. You... No, no, no. I'm, I'm going. I'm going JK first. Okay, but this the JL that JK. you have now, you literally like this was during COVID, so um, it was it was really hard to find parts and, and a long time to wait for parts, and you had to wait like six months or stuff. But you literally put in almost as much money that you bought it for in upgrades, and then just fully did everything like almost all at once. Yeah, with it, it the lift, time. the wheels, the tires, and, and sound system, and um, I can't wait for these people to actually, you know, to, to be able to see what you have, do a little tour of, you know, the lift you have, the wheels you have, the tires you have, the sound system you have, the head you, you have. You, you just, you went through and you changed everything all at once, and it's it's a super cool build. Well, I appreciate that. I don't want, I didn't want to be like braggadocious. I, mean, I want to like start from home beginnings at first. No, you don't need to take it home. I'll take it for you. <laughs> I, no, trust me. I get, I'm getting that one up. But yeah, dude, I wanted to talk about like, you know, the first one I ever did because I didn't want to, like the second one, I knew what I did wrong in the first one. Sure. So I wanted to make sure the second one I did right. Sure. With the first one, man. I, the first upgrade I bought was the head unit for the rig. And you had two Jeeps before the jail or one? Just one. Just, one. just a JK. Okay, so you had already you had already gone through the process and, and knew what you wanted and knew what you needed, um, because you had done one already. Where where me, this is still my first actual real Jeep. Um, I had a Cherokee, but that doesn't count. Uh, uh, it depends what kind. Sorry, Grand Cherokee. XJ. Uh, it, it was a Jeep. It was a two thousand Jeep Grand Cherokee that I put on twenty okay, twos. Right. No XJ no, tires. <laughs> so no, it doesn't doesn't count for Jeep Jeep life. Um, but but I, I I add additions to and upgrade based off of every time I go out and I feel like I'm lacking something or if, if there's an obstacle I can't conquer, I'm like, okay, well, what do I need to do to be able to do this? So like S-curve, 
at Logandale. I went out there the first time, couldn't hack it. And I was like, all right, what do I need to do? I need more flex. Yeah. And so, you know, I got a different suspension. Went back, did the S-curve. Cool, good. After that, got bigger tires. And it's just, you know, it's always the never-ending mess. It's never done. Uh, well, that also adds into the fact that your friends always want to one-up you. But no. Um, so what, what? All right, all right. So when it comes to like off-road tires, sure, sure. So like you got, we got radial tires, we got aggressive tires, we got like you know the combination between the train, two. All train, like aggressive tires always sound really loud on the road. Radial tires are quiet, but they don't do the job that we want. You got that middle ground where you don't know where like you're gonna get one, three, five categories of all those. You never really know where you're gonna get. Like. What would be the first tire that you would get in the size? Let's just go, you got two and a half inch lift on a JK, you can put a 35 on there. So it's, it's very dependent on, on what you want and, and where you live. So like we live in Vegas and what's, what's kind of unique about where we live is a lot of what we have around here is dirt, sand, and rock. Um, but we're an hour away from Utah. We're an hour away from Arizona. We're an hour away from California. So we can find mud. We can find water. We can find sand. We can find dirt. We can find rock. We can find everything that you want to do. Um, you know, and, and I love my mud train tires. Um, they're a little bit louder, but, but they're functional for, for what I like to do, what we like to do. Because um, you and I, we do a lot of sand. We do a lot of rock. Um, I hate the water. We be, oh, I hate the water. Oh, yeah, that's a later, later one. Another subject. That's, that's how I blew my motor. Dance, all right? Blew my motor on that one. Um, Not just his motor. It was a twenty thousand dollar fix. <laughs> um, but no, it's it's uh, I avoid warranties. Uh, <laughs> like some no, warranty warranty, warranty covered some of it. Um, but no, it really depends on where you're at, what you want to do. Like you know, some people just want to build a jeep. And, you know, they want a two and a half inch lift and they want 33s or 35s and they just want to drive because it looks cool. If that's what you want to do, cool, great, fine. You know, a lot of people are going to think trash about it, but until somebody's making your car payment for you, who cares what other people say? But also, I guess there's people that literally, like my dad, you know, granted, now he has a badass sheep. They just literally, they will yeah. crack one others. However, your dad when he first got it, it was, uh, shit. It, it had a Two inch Mopar, thirty sevens Rubicon with twenty inch whims, and it had never seen an off road trail for the first two years. And it almost still has it. Sorry, Dad. No, oh, God, no, no, no. It's heard. It's seen a lot. In the past, it, 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 since I bought my Jeep, his Jeep has seen a lot more stuff. I mean, I, he I wants did, to do the Rubicon. I, I traveled. I traveled with him out long ago. No, I don't know. Very, very we, we wandered around there. We wandered around. No, so he he's always wanted to do the Rubicon. When he saw me do the Rubicon, mm-hmm. and I came back there with stories of the Rubicon, I was like, Dad, those are you those will are never some do tough this. trails. Those trails are like it wasn't even that tough. It was it like there's a lot of technical stuff, but on a jamboree, it's different. And honestly, we're getting way up. No, we're going back to, you know what? After after we hit our mud train and the tires, we care about how loud they are. Like I get I. I love having an aggressive tire. That my my tire is quiet. Like my dad's got Mick Thompsons. Mm-hmm. They're not quiet. No. They're aggressive. They do well off road. Well, the days you got to turn that volume on the radio all the way up. Thirty eight before you can think your before you can even hear yourself speak Dead. or think whatever you want to do. Sure, you have a conversation inside even with the top on. You still can't hear it. Dead. I was sitting. I was sitting there just like. Is this what you deal with? Is <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, I have the doors and roof off of my Jeep, sitting there not even, I, I'm on the phone and my tire's like, hmm. Yeah, I can't do that. Mine's, mine's really loud. I uh, know, but the, yeah. But I mean, the best part is like the tires that, I got I got a random brand that I just randomly found. They, they serve me quite well. Yeah, no, so there's, that there's is, not much that I've seen you not be able to conquer. But that's also like one of the things that, you know, it, the, the name of the tire doesn't mean anything. It is kind of like you, it's a lot of trial and error. Um, as far as it's getting back to beginner stuff, where you find trails, how you meet people, um, and, and stuff oh, like shit. that. Oh, no, 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 I got I to gotta, I gotta stop you. I have a hilarious story. At least it's funny to me. Uh, I'm, I'm so I was, I, was, I hooked up my amp 
and my subs, and my new head unit, and my JK. Very first Jeep, I'm 18 years old, all right? Not done a lot of car work. I decided I'm gonna ho hook up the inner lights, like the, the lights that make the inside of the car glow. I hooked those <coughs> up to the power source of my amp. Oh no. They lit my seats on fire. Yeah. All of a sudden, I see I start seeing smoke coming out of my Jeep. I'm like, oh god, what the hell? So I just grab the wire, rip it out. Like, I don't like I don't even know what's going on. I'm just like, no, my Jeep's on fire, right? Yeah, and those wires are probably not really cold. Oh god, no, 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 no. they are like literally yeah, like I have X like lines across my hands. Oh yeah. I walk into my my parents' garage and I was like, like I go straight to the sink. And my dad's like, you okay? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to tell you I just lit my Jeep on fire, but yeah, I'm right. fire. <laughs> yeah, and my hands are burning like I have 30 degrees like, to this on day, my hands. My dad will literally, my, my dad will attest to the story. Yeah. But also, I was messing with my dad one time because he was helping me hook up my, my first set of, it wasn't rock lights because it was just like the tubes of neon. Dude. Yes. Yeah. So we're looking up tubes of neon. We're talking and, like 2000. This was 2008, but yeah, two, tubes of neon underglow. Late to the game. They were free. I don't Still care. Tubes? So my dad took it up. My dad tubes. goes to put the battery wire connection on it. My dad jumped out of the hood of my car so fast. That's not. That's not okay. Oh, it was hilarious to me. Because me and my freaking eighteen-year-old buddy were like, <laughs> "Wait, what? Why did you just run away from the car?" But yeah, it's just. Man, uh, man, that's up. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Whatever. Um, it was a, it was a fun little story. Yeah, yeah, good times. But yes, always be, <laughs> always be careful. Make sure everybody, especially with yeah. electronics, wiring, cables. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna burn your hands to the point where you can you can't even grab a toothbrush or a steering wheel for that matter. You're gonna drive two fingers versus the knife. Speaking from experience at all? Oh, one hundred percent speaking from experience. Yeah. Because that was a very, very... So before people memorable. get stupid and, and do dumb electronic stuff, um, where, where would they go to find these trails to go do some off-roading? Well... Social media pages. It's like you, you buy your first Jeep, because we did, we did jump a little bit. Got a wee bit sidetracked, but... All right, so if you you going to like... You know, yeah. Buy your first Jeep, and you, you don't like like me. We don't, don't know how to use it. We don't. You don't, we don't know, know where you are. You don't know where you're doing. It. Yeah, it's mainly you know like we got we got you know Facebook, the other stuff, Mito. Yeah. Also, we can look at other off road apps, but also you can talk to the dealerships. Yeah. And sometimes there will be knowledgeable people mm -hmm. that have Jeeps most of the time. And, well, sometimes the dealerships like out here in Vegas. I mean, it's it's a bigger town. Well, yeah, no, right. it's, well, we're very, like, you can't drive down the street and not see a Jeep. No. No. Like, if you, you don't see a Jeep, I think the world is actually just hell You can't normal. drive anywhere in this town for five minutes without seeing a Jeep. Might be bone stock, might be on 40s with a six inch lift. Anywhere in between, can't drive five minutes in this town without seeing a Jeep. Facts. But, well, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, but as far as meetups... Uh, you know, Facebook obviously is a big one. Well, that's um, how we met. So with yeah. with cheap pages. 